What up, guys? Welcome back to Pinoy Bounce. Let's go straight out to James. All about the Raptors. What do you got? With this lineup, do you think the Raptors going to make it to the playoffs? Yes. Ooh. Absolutely. No doubt. No like, doubt. They're a pretty deep team. Like, are we contenders for the championship? Mm. No. But I do see us coming back for, mm -hmm. for, for, for postseason. For postseason, yeah. Everyone's doubting us yeah. so badly. Everyone thinks that we won't even make it. Like, we'll just... Hit either we either we just make it to the eighth, or we don't even make it like saying ninth or tenth. People forget that we were seventeen and five when Kawhi was not in the lineup, and you're getting the same players in now have gelled together, playoff experience, championship experience, adding Marcus Gasol in, and then improve improvement of Pascal, Fred, and Chris Boucher, and OG Norm. and Inobi, and addition of players like Rondé and Stanley Johnson. We were seventeen and five without Kawhi. So we're still a playoff contention team. But the only thing that I have to say was probably um, another factor was Danny Green. He's the one that mm. gave us offensively, right? Yeah. Defensively strong, he was definitely strong, uh, sound as well. Yeah. So that also plays a factor with us. So, so I can see why people doubt it because we don't even have Danny Green either mm -hmm. who can be able to take those shots you know, that are contested. Who can be able to take when it's open three, right? That was Danny Green. But we had an issue with him. He was inconsistent from the three. Even during the playoffs, we, we couldn't find him. But during the so, season, though, is what, like we're, we're talking mm -hmm. about season, though, right? Mm -hmm. That was him. Like, he was reliable through that. I know it was really iffy with him postseason, but mm -hmm. we had other people. Like, we had the other guys, like, you know, Lowry, Fred. You know, even playoff Norm finally came in a little That's late. That's where I kind of want to see like, you know, Norm step out of his. This is kind of where Norm shows us that, you know, that playoff Norm, how to the people, awesome player. I think this is where he kind of has to take advantage of this opportunity now that the starting two guard is open for him, Stanley Johnson. This could be their spot. So, but I think that obviously they're a playoff team, but in terms of contention, second round, I could see them really coming into it. Um, what do you guys think of Kyle Lowry's extension though? 31 mil for a whole year? James, what do you got? Uh, I think Kyle Lowry, he's old, as mm -hmm. you guys can tell that, but um, uh, you're just doing it for a trade bait, basically, for Kyle Lowry. But um, for next topic, uh, who do you guys think is going to step up for the Raptors? I think it's pretty obvious for both of us. I mean, <laughs> spicy? Obviously spicy. Yeah. But like, take spicy out of the picture, though. Yeah. Who else would you think is going to step up? I personally think OG. OG. <laughs> yeah. Well, you read my mind on we that just, one, too. Yeah, we just know Raptors that well, I think, yeah. Um, in terms of the additions, such as, you know, you know, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, Stanley mm -hmm. Johnson, Terrence Davis, Matt Thomas, and everything, who do you think is going to be stepping up as well? Because Nick Nurse even quoted, and it's on Yahoo Sports, too. They're not, he's not happy he's with not, him. It's not happy with him. Yeah. Defensively, they're not there. They're or not maybe sound. he's just kind of pushing them to kind of be step up because you guys are coming into a championship team. The standards has been set for them. Like, hey, this is a championship team that just came out winning, the, winning it all. We, you guys have to come in prepared and come in here ready to really ball at a high level, even during training camp, during preseason. Even during preseason, Ronnie yeah. Hollis Jefferson was way too slow. Exactly. Defensively, he was way too slow. Yeah. I don't think he can be able to keep up with that kind of pace. Mm -hmm. I know it's just only preseason and we can't really predict what's obviously. It's always about predictions, right? We mm -hmm. always can't predict. But if we do have to predict, I don't see him keeping up with the pace. Do I see him maybe getting, will he get traded maybe? Before the deadline, who I, knows, I think it's right? just Nick Nurse pushing them and saying, like, you guys are not up to par in terms of what I expect you guys to be for my championship team. Yeah. Because these guys are coming in. Remember, Rondé came out from a Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nets team who kind of had a hype, but he wasn't really a big part of that hype with D'Angelo Russell when they made the playoffs. Stanley Johnson came off of a Detroit Piston team. Who was able to was defend, able to defend. Kawhi, too. And exactly. we, that's how we lost, right? So in terms of the expectation that Nick Nurse has for them, they, he, he want them at tip top shape before even the preseason starts. So... I think OG is going to be a big part of that development. Of he didn't get the chance to play and prove that he was one of the two, you know, best defenders in the NBA. Kawhi took the show, and this is him learning, in, trying to show and prove and see what he learned from Kawhi and what he developed throughout that last season when he was mostly injured. And Pascal Siakam, I think, is going to be a, a bona fide All Star for us. It's and given, I'm glad. like he's just he's going to be he's the franchise of the Raptors. Mm -hmm. right? But is, the workout that he's done, because yes. he he struggled with a lot of different areas too, especially with the shots game. too. Yeah, yeah. He struggled with a shot, and even though he made some clutch buckets, I think he worked off this off season to really develop his one on one game. Because now, 
you're not going to get those Kawhi go-to get buckets for us. It's going to be him. And I don't think Lowry is the kind of player too that can get buckets for us. He's more of a system kind of player where you need him on pick and roll. So you need him to kind of set up everybody. Siakam will be the guy that's going to um, going to attract double teams. He's going to be the, the focal point of the offense where everybody kind of sets their defense in. Right? Well, I agree. Yeah. So, James, what else have we got? Well, it really depends on if Raptors can gel together, right? Mm -hmm. But my question to you, if the Raptors make it to third seed, do you think Nick Nurse will be a coach of the year? It's tough. Like, there's so many teams this season that would be in contention to be coach of the year. Like, I mean, depending this on how Frank Vogel handles the Lakers, he could be in line for coach of the year. Depending on how... We can also see for Mike D'Antoni for the Rockets. Exactly. Depending on how he handles Russell Westbrook and Harden, who everybody's expect to just kind of bust and just flop. Or what about Doc Rivers with who he's dealing with now with his team, right? Mm -hmm. You can take for now, let's say, a potential championship team, right? Or maybe we can also look at me, like what we said, our Dark Horse team for what you guys predicted with um, Denver. Mm -hmm. Mike Malone. Yeah. He can be, be able to bring up the stats and everything too now that he... With the, team, with the young core that he has, right? So mm -hmm. I just feel like there's so many contenders for Coach of the Year, mm -hmm. but in terms of the way it is, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't think Frank I don't think Vogel so. will win it because every time LeBron James played for a team, the coach never won the Coach of the Year. So that's the I don't know, fun fact too, by the way. So yeah. <laughs> Well, speaking of fun facts, we're going to throw it back to James actually too. We have what we call player highlights where he, he, we give some shout outs to some players out there that are playing well overseas. What do you got, James? I want to give a shout out to RJ Ramirez. This guy played the perfect game, 11 out of 11. And this guy's going crazy at MPBL. Please. And to end off the segment for All About Raptors, what's your last topic, James? Last topic is, do you think Pascal Siakam deserve a max contract? It's max contract at this point, I think. I think it yes. needs to be proven. Yes. I, I don't so, know. I, I don't know. Still has to be, I, he's already showing it already, right? Yeah. He's already giving you the... He's been MIP, mm -hmm. right? So there's just more that we can be able to see this coming season. It's going to be proven, and it is going to be given. Give me over 20 points a game in, in this season, and I think he deserves it. Oh, for sure. I think he had help. Kawhi was there, so I don't know what he could be still without a bona fide superstar as, his, as there to kind of take off. But he has now the mentality of becoming that superstar. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So I think it's just more so like he doesn't need the bona fide superstar. He is going to be that superstar that is going to have that team that's going to support him with that. Mm -hmm. And that's know? what I'm saying. That's Prove like, it first yeah. and then we give the math contract because I don't think... But he's asking right now. Sources saying that he's asking for extension. So do you guys think he deserves it right now? I don't think so because he, he, he's, he's averaging 16 points per game and is asking for a max contract. Uh, he, either he can be the next James Harden or the next Char uh, Chandler Parsons. So, Ooh, Ooh, like, so you oh, never know. Like, never know. Oh, but man. like, I agree. Well, you guys have point, a great right? point and yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's all about, I don't know these past, like we stuff. can't predict anything, right? Yeah. Obviously. So yeah. just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I can't tell too. And I guess you know, we're almost out of time. We're coming here to a landing. To finish it off, we got our video highlight of the week. James, throw it to you to finish it off. Uh, we want to give a shout out to James Forrester. This guy is killing it also in MPBL. He made a dunk and it went viral in MPBL and Instagram. Oh, good defense by Forrester. And he gets the steal. James Forrester. Oh! oh! See that sound because you here. Welcome oh. to your highlight, James Forrester! Yes! I'm going to tell you, eh, That steal, okay, John Dermal, up, up, and away. James Forrester throws it down with full authority. Uh-huh. That's what I asked you, eh, if you can see him, he's a big fan James Forrester, eh. Well, I learned that today, Coach Leo. That's his ability. Ah, you can see that now. That was an insane dunk. Shout out to you, James Forrester. I hope you're playing well down there in the Philippines. Came repping for us. And that's all we have for Pinoy Bounce. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You can find us anywhere from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube under Pinoy Bounce. Stay tuned for more episodes. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Enjoy the night. And other than that, stay balling.